So 20 years ago, 20, 20 years ago, we played in what was one of the most iconic Good Friday games of all time, 2004 Derby, St. Owens Wigan at Nosley Road. My question is this, who's aged most <laughs> out of us three here? It, it does seem like yesterday, yeah. but there's been a lot of water under the bridge and the body doesn't feel as young as it, it did no. in 2004. But it seems that like none of us remember the game. Should you have a look at some of them? Definitely. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of the highlights. Now they are there. The atmosphere and exit. So 2004, Nosley Road, this was it. This was like iconic, an iconic moment. And it was like, it was chaos. Even, from the start. even that there, like there's a break, just, it hits the pole, someone to, drops them. The two new ones like smack that, that's going about like. That was going to hit someone in the stand, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is the most unlikely. Oh, yeah, remember this as well. I was thinking someone's got to catch him. How slow, how long's that taking? The running style's awful, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Well, it, it, the, the running style was awful, but the celebration was just as bad, I think. It's pretty bad, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Dead chuffed. Newton finds Danny Sculthorpe. This is Kevin Brown! They score! Great try. Always looks about 13 or 14 to me, but this kid's all talent. What about that, Kev? That was the one, wasn't it? Just yeah, show, show, and show and go. And people but it's still, pretty special, still that. Still From no, the it, fans, it, it was, and, and like you said before, that, I think that was the second time I played for the first team at Norsley Road. I had a bit of imposter syndrome at that point and yeah. you know, a bit of validation when you scored and did something okay. You'd look around and try and get a bit of eye contact with fans. Is that all right? <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, he's still demanding of you to do better. And then half time comes. Do you remember anything about how it felt the game? Do you know, like, was it, was it like intimidating and intense? Did I, you I think it was going to boil off and sort of puffing my cheeks out thinking that were quick. Yeah. That were quick and obviously. I always, I always think the, the, the derby games, the Good Friday games, are always like a test match. I think they were they were a step up from a regular Super League game. Yeah. You know, where ultimately we, we had a lot of the best players. This is where it gets it gets interesting. Ricky Barbie. It's just a mad. It's just mad, play. isn't it? What's going on? There's so much going on. <laughs> I mean, I deserve to get filled in quite a lot, like I, I did. Yeah. I, I'm not like daft, I know <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise anybody. I just, there's not a lot in it, is there? I think they didn't need to be a lot, did no. they? No. To be it, fair, you were just about to get on top there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood what a shirt blouse is. <laughs> no. Do you big shirt blouse? Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> what were you saying? What were you actually saying to each other through all this? He was. He, I remember Faz talking about. Obviously, when people say, "Oh, he called you," a, yeah. Said he was actually calling me. He was. He was calling Dom Fanati, who obviously run about. Oh, is that and, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Well, I was. If you look where Faz is looking as well, I'm on the other side of the field, but it's just obviously sky pan on me. I remember. <laughs> I remember somebody asked me once on Twitter. And I replied, I said, oh, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to Don Fanati and Sam Tompkins were the first one. He went, don't spoil it, school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good story, isn't it? On the last, now then, there is a chance here. The crowd buzz. They know there's a drop goal in the offing. Farrell, he's gone for it. Farrell! Has he's he got it? it? He has. Yes, he has! Andrew Farrell enters Wigan ahead. As we said before the game, when these two sides meet, the form book goes out of the window. Everybody has done something good. They've probably done something pretty bad as well, so I've gone for the person who looks at the moment like winning the game for Wigan, Andy Farrell. Great leadership down the middle of the park. The drop goal that could win it. So, Kev, I asked you what you remembered from this game, and all you could say <laughs> was this. Well, uh, that, that is, <laughs> I don't, it was like he stood on a landmine uh, or a pole uh, stick or something. And, we, we, we were all looking, looking at each other, and we don't look there. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's it. it's career it's, over. Yeah, isn't it? there's a bad one. They were calling for the stretcher. How was that not an ACL? I just it's got, it's got ACL. All I've over, never seen it? anything like. I just love it that of this iconic game of the modern era, the thing you remember is that. But there was so um, much stuff going on. It, it were mayhem, start <laughs> to finish. There was stuff like that going on, and that sticks out in my mind because I've never seen it done since I'm, or before. I'm so happy you picked that because that, um, for me, is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on a rugby field. <laughs> it's got to be tight here. That's the last. One point up for the draw. 
No. One point for the draw. Long has gone for it. He's got, He's it. got it. Long has the match. That was heartbreaking. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. He's come up with some big ones, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So it look easy. We saw Andy yeah. Farrell just pop one. That would made it. 21 20, and then Longy just nonchalantly just, oh, see ya, pop. That is so straight, <laughs> isn't it? You know, a run up. Yeah, he's good. But then, straight after the game, everyone shook hands, we yeah. went in the bar, had a pint together, and it was. Yeah. Work. You didn't think. It was it probably was a fair to... result, wasn't it? Like yeah. I said, with, with everything that went on and the, you know, the occasion. and So there, there was never much between the two teams this year. When you see teams going at it like that, that's that's just two teams who really care yeah. about the result. And yeah. we were just going at it. We were seven straight. We'd won seven yeah. straight. You'd won, I think, only four out of your first seven. It, so and it, it mattered. It complete, when everyone used to say that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I used to think, well, it does. If you're on a bad run of form and they're yeah. on it, it does. Yeah. But it, it completely didn't, yeah, did it? it, didn't, it, no. it no. When you played it, it, it did something. The derby matches did something yeah. and still do that you raise your game. I always think that one's extra special, isn't it? Yeah. Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday, I think it's Good just because it's Easter period. Lunch time being, yeah, it's, a... it's a great day. Good Friday, rugby wise. It's my, I think it's my favourite mm. of all time. Yeah. And 2004, which we all played in, was a, was a joy, wasn't it? Yeah. One of the best. Yeah, survival. <laughs> we survived 2004. We survived, yeah. Yeah. A draw, a very fair result. Yeah, I think everybody will go away, including the players. They'll be quite happy with it. There's no sadness amongst the crowd. They've witnessed something very, very special indeed.